Hello everybody, this is Sin the Moon Goddess. I'm coming to you with a reading for Virgo and it's going to be from week June the 6th, 2021 through June the 12th, 2021. Um, I never say love reading or business reading. I just say reading because I don't know what the spirit is going to give me. So I just go along with whatever card spirit says. So get down to some business. If you can like and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. So let's get started with Virgo for this week. Spirit, this is for Virgo. June 6th to June 12th, 2021. We're going to do a Celtic cross. And that's 10 cards. Okay. One. Okay. We have eight more. Spirit, eight more. Five more things. Five more spirit. Five more. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Have our cards. We're doing Celtic Cross for Virgo. Here we go. Where we are to right now. Ten of Swords. Sorrow. Um, backstabbing even. It looks like a lot of backstabbing, huh? <laughs> so, backstabbing. That's where we are right now. Backstabbing or sorrow. Our challenges is our communication. Let's talk. All of this is air. This is showing me air. A lot of air. Okay. Um, the air signs. Okay. Our focus. Our focus is we need to learn how to juggle. How to balance. Work. And play. Work and play. Or it could be for some. I work. And love. Work in love, work work in fun. Spirit said fun. Okay, where um our recent class oh another ten. Uh, ten of wands, burdens, you know, burdens. Um this is in our past and it's a ten. So it could either be in or beginning. But it's in our path, so it's the end. Our strengths. Our strengths is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups, I wish. I wish it's coming true, not coming true. Um, it was reversed. So I don't like reverses. But, yes. Spirit says love is our strength. But right now we need to move on. Move on. Our future. Oh, it's the tower. The tower could be the end of a relationship. It could be at the beginning of a new relationship. It could be... Spirit said it's an end. Let it go. Um, not just it's in a partnership, more so a partnership. Not love, but a partnership. It's a partnership that's 
that's on the verge of breaking up, let it go. I know it was your wish to have this business, but you need to let it go. Yeah, and this is a water sign, so if that helps. Okay, now, suggested approach. Take that leap of faith. Go on your own. Do it on your own. Take that leap of faith. New beginning. And what we need to know is that it's not as bad as it seems. You might feel like you're out in the cold right now, but you're on the verge of a breakthrough. Okay? Your hopes and fears. See? New beginnings. At end of all of this and a new beginning. It's the end. Your potential. Your potential. Future. You releasing. You getting over it. You've been grieving over this whole situation. It could be a partnership or a love ship. Um, relationship you've been grieving but spirit said it's time for you to move on find you some more love because it's there for you it looks like it's a water sign yeah it's either a water sign or it could be a earth sign but it's more look like a water sign but yeah that's what spirit is saying. This could be a partnership or a love, a love relationship. It's, it's new love coming. Anything else, spirit? New love coming. But you got to walk away from the old. The old relationship or the partnership. In order for all of this to begin, you're new. You're new. You have to walk away. You have to walk away from the old. Pray and meditate. Pray and meditate. Be that empress that you are. Make decisions. There's decisions to be made. So you have to make the dis some decisions. There is another, another partner, another love relationship on the back burner who's watching you, who loves you, who has a lot of passion for you. He's just waiting. And he's younger. He's a knight. Anything else? Anything else? Can you tell us who this knight is? Card on the bottom, on the floor. Let's see. Let's see. The spirit has something else for a Virgo. It's a new start. It's a new start in love. Spirit says, a new start in love. Again, this might not be for everyone. Yeah. Right now, we're talking to the single ones, the single Virgos. You got, got you, you got your pentacles together, your life is together. You're looking out there and see what else is out there for you. You're doing some planning. That's good. Now it's time to manifest what you want. Exactly what you want. If you want a love relationship, tell spirit exactly what you want. Not just part. Exactly. Tell them exactly what you want. In prayer, in meditation. And if you meditate, spirit will tell you or show you what you're going what they need from you and what's what's your next step. 
Anything else? Anything else, dude? Anything else? Anything else, spirit? Anything else? Yes. Oh, got some kings there. Oh, good. See? Do that. Manifesting. Then you'll have a king of pentacles who has a lot of passion for you. Lots. And he's set. Because it's a ten of pentacles. Can't get no better than that. With the king too. Hmm. So that's it. That's all I have for you right now. That's it, Virgo. And this is Sin, the Moon Goddess, and I'm out.